my gosh. and welcome back to Angie's Table. Today we are in my home in my kitchen and I wanted to teach you guys how to make some green onion salad and you usually get this as like a side dish when you go to a Korean barbecue restaurant so you can enjoy it with your meat. Enjoy some chador today and also teach you guys how to make chador bokkeumbap. Chador is beef brisket and it's very very thinly sliced and I would probably say that this is one of my more favorite cuts of meat when I go to Korean barbecue. So let's go right ahead and start off by making our green onion salad. I have about six green onions. I am gonna cut this and separate the white parts from the green parts and not cut all the way through the stem of the, the white stem, but halfway through, fold it upwards like this so that you can make thin slices and have a good grip on them. And we're gonna just do the same thing for the green parts. been about like five, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna bring this on here. Make sure to get all the moisture out. Now for the seasoning, add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, half tablespoon sugar, half tablespoon vinegar, one tablespoon of garlic mint, one tablespoon of sesame oil and sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and let's go enjoy some of our tether. So I have this grill here and I like this for bokkeumbap. This stone material gets really hot and retains heat well. So it cooks the chowder really fast. And I like making bokkeumbap in this because it makes the fried rice taste like you're making it on a skillet and it's really good. And we have some banchan here. Got some kimchi here. This is my favorite. It's radish. Cheddar cooks very, very fast. It is cooking fast. Do you like cheddar the best or do you like sangyeop? I think I like sangyeop the best, but mm. I feel like I can have Korean barbecue without cheddar. Mm. We can't let it cook for too long or else it gets a little dry because it's so thin. I'm gonna enjoy it with some pasari first. Got new chopsticks. So lettuce, cheddar, I'm gonna add some of my pa. Mmm. 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 Cool. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's so good, right? I don't know why it tastes so good today. Wow. Yeah, it's better than eating out. I have some kimchi. Mm. My favorite. I love this. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna have this with just. Do you want another piece, Grace? Okay. I'm gonna kick this heat back on so that I can teach you guys how to make fried rice. Oh 
I will eat some and make some. I really like this grill. Yeah, right? Yeah. I like it too. Something about eating kukumbap from here on a stone grill. Mm -hmm. The rice gets crispy. I'm actually going to leave some cheddar for Chino. And we'll use the rest to make our pukumbap. Cut these into smaller pieces. Well, I feel like I could just rip it actually. They just like shred. Okay, and now to this, we're gonna add our leftover green onions. And I have some cold rice. Mm. Add a little bit of sesame oil to this. A little bit of oyster sauce. And now we just mix everything together. This pokumbab is so good. It smells amazing. The reason why it's better on this is because the stone, it makes that really crispy rice, nurungji, at the bottom. So it makes it taste really good. So now we just let it crust on. And patience is key. It looks so good. I'm just eating lettuce. Why is this lettuce so sweet? I'm not even joking. Mm, so good. Let's eat. You have your spoon right there, Grace. Oh. Oh my god. These are way better than what you can get at Korean barbecue restaurants. Mm -hmm. So fun. <sighs> this was so good. Mm. It's like sweet mm. and savory. You don't need one of these. You can just use your fry pan. Mm. This would be really good when you're camping. Yeah. I really hope you guys like today's video and make this at home because it is bomb. Best bokumbap ever. And we'll see you guys on our next video.